G'day rail friends. Before we get into this video, I'd like to correct a mistake I made in the previous one. Towards the end of the last video, I said the Commonwealth Railways wound up on the same day as the old NAR services ceased. That wasn't correct. The Commonwealth Railways were restructured into the Australian National Railway Commission the previous year on the 1st of July 1975. Now back to the video. This is part one of two videos on Adelaide River. It is still the 28th of August 2007 and our group has just made it to the Stewart Highway overpass south of Adelaide River as we continue chasing the train we caught at Catherine in the last video. In that video we also covered the NAR railhead at Larimer. If you haven't seen it, check it out. This portion of the standard gauge line approximately follows the route of the old narrow gauge line, although there are sections where it deviates a fair bit. In this video we will have a look at the Adelaide River Railway Precinct and the now disused railway bridge over the Adelaide River. But first we have a train to catch. We're at the Coach Road level crossing on the north side of Adelaide River. Locomotives are FQ02, CLP14 and GM44. We've camped overnight at Adelaide River and have returned south to the overbridge to catch an empty southbound ore train heading to Francis Creek. Locomotives are VL352 and 351. After the southbound train passed, we explored the area for some other photo locations and came across the remains of a small cottage, probably a Fettler's home, near the former Godilla crossing loop. Godilla was originally called Number One Depot. It suffered from mixed fortunes. It opened as a siding with the railway but was abandoned in 1918. It was restored again as a crossing loop during World War II but after the war the turnouts were removed. In 1967, the railway was upgraded to cope with new ore traffic. As part of that work, the Godilla Loop was reinstated and extended to enable ore trains to cross. After looking around, we headed back to Adelaide River. The Adelaide River Bridge was the largest on the NAR, being 155 metres long. It was fabricated by James Martin and Co of Gawler, South Australia and was erected in 1888 as part of the original Palmerston to Pine Creek Railway. Mm -hmm. 
During World War II, wooden decking was added so that road vehicles could use the bridge during the wet season when the low-level bridge became impassable. The road decking was improved again in 1952 and continued to be used as a road bridge during the wet season until 1980, four years after the railway closed. Adelaide River Railway Station was opened in 1889 when the completion of the bridge permitted the station to be built on the south side of the river. In the 1920s and 30s a triangle and cattle dock were added. Adelaide River became an important military base during World War II. This led to a further expansion of the station facilities as well as the development of the Snake Creek area as a major naval munitions store. We'll cover the Snake Creek area in our next video. NSU 63 is now a memorial to the old North Australian Railway. The loco was manufactured by the Birmingham Railway Carriage and Wagon Company in England and entered service in 1955. It initially worked on the NAR before being transferred to the Central Australian Railway. After withdrawal in 1981, it passed through several owners before being moved to Adelaide River in 2003. We've returned to the Stewart Highway overbridge near Gordilla to catch a southbound intermodal freight. Locomotives are FQ02 and CLP14. These are two of the three locos we followed northbound from Catherine to Adelaide River. This is the same train we saw earlier in the video heading to Francis Creek the previous day, now loaded for the ore stacker for the Port of Darwin.
We raced ahead of the train to a location known as Ginger's Cutting, just south of the Crater Lake Road. The road leads to the old World War II RAAF airfield at Batchelor. In the next video we'll continue our exploration of the Adelaide River area and nearby Snake Creek sidings and have a look at its wartime history. Until then, bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment and consider subscribing.